Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are. You are my family. Smile. You might ask why. Because you will make it feel better. You're supposed to say why. Oh. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. May peace be upon you, upon you be peace. Bismillah, assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family, smile, you might ask why because it will make you feel bad. Fam, I'm in a rush. I'm going to Hong Kong with mercy of Allah. I'll try to get in the airport. This is the airport. You know how it is, bro. Beard, don't use films. Bismillah, fam. I finally arrived in Hong Kong. Alhamdulillah, it is hot. The flight was long. I can't explain to you how long the flight was. Seven hours behind. I don't know what time it is in England. But that's Hong Kong. Well, you haven't really seen much of it yet, but you will see. I'm here. So let's get to the hotel, inshallah. United Oma, we are one nation, we stand together, we are family. United Oma, we are bound together, we are one community. United Oma, rapping our D till the end, that's the way we like to run. United Oma. That is Hong Kong, bro. Welcome, brother Omar Issa, to Hong yeah. Kong. Yeah. <laughs> We're very happy to have you. I'm gonna bless you. That was start well, Ibrahim. Blessed with Saad Alhamdulillah. I was with him on tour in Pakistan in 2014. This is madness. Uh, only you mean translate the hadith and also inshallah will share with you the meaning of this fascinating hadith but be, before that uh, i want to request brother omar isa to give us a nice nasheed in the beginning we need to realize that as human beings we have to interact with people there is no choice that we have you have to interact starting with your family members and the circle becomes broader so the family members then your neighbors and then everybody else your friends and so on so this hadith is speaking about the type of people that you would be uh, blessed to interact with whether they are your friends or your neighbors so uh, two things we need to know one is i need to become like this so that i can be the best of neighbors and the best of companions and two is i need to know that i will be blessed when i am in the company of others who are also the best of companions and the best of neighbors so that brings us straight to the hadith where the prophet says the best of companions in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is he who is best to the rest of the companions which means say for example we're a group of friends the best from amongst that group is the one who is the best to that group it's a it's it's actually a powerful encouragement to every one of us to try and be the best to each other when we are in each other's company and at the same time it is a, a message for us to try and be with good people because your company makes you or breaks you so if like that, it makes you or breaks you? Yes, your company makes you or breaks you. Because if you're in good company, you will be made. They will help you doing a lot of good things. And if you're in bad company, you're broken because they will help you, but they will help you doing bad things. This is why Allah says, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالْتَقْوَىٰ وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ Help each other, cooperate with each other when it comes to al-bir wa taqwa you know, righteousness or consciousness. And do not help one another, do not cooperate when it comes to ithm, that means, that means sin, and udwan means enmity. So enmity and sin, we should not be cooperating with each other. This is the basis of the friendship and the cooperation of us as human beings and bidat as muslimin. So the second part of the hadith takes you to a more specific group of people and that is the neighbor. So the neighbor, it can also be a sahib, it can be a companion as well. But the neighbor, the Prophet says the best of neighbors is the neighbor who is the best to the neighbor. So it, it might sound strange, but what it means is you will be blessed if you have the best neighbor and you are a blessing to others if you are the best neighbor. So imagine you have neighbors who are so good, you know, you can leave the house, you can tell them to look after this, that. Every time there is something, they help you, they, they reach out to you, they send something to you, you send something to them, you, you trust them, they are trustworthy people, they take care of your family members and yourself in a beautiful way, you should be doing the same. Imagine if we were all to be following these rulings. I'm trying to be the best to you, you're trying to be the best to me, my friends are all trying to be the best to one another. 
don't you think the whole world will become a much better place and we all become best of the best so they are they are best and this is why this hadith for me actually suits the theme best of the best most the reason is everyone is best but we are now trying to chip one higher by saying from the best we are looking for the best this is it so this is why we say the companions and when we're talking of companions we're talking of our friends those we interact with everyone is good really nice people mashallah but there must be some difference in us there has to be something unique about us that makes us best of the best the word better is not even used it's the best of the best the reason is we cannot say this one is weaker this one is bad and so on to one another we should be concentrating on how best we are and look at the goodness that other people have to offer as well so these are the two most important things that are mentioned in this beautiful hadith one is regarding companions the best in the eyes of allah is the one who is best to the rest of the companions and the rest of the friends and the others the neighbors the best of neighbors is the one who is best to his own neighbor which means and i'm just repeating it for myself and yourselves try to be the best friend ever the most honest the most genuine the one who is most helpful the most kind the most tolerant and try to be the best neighbor ever in that way you will be the best in the eyes of allah you'll be a good mu'min you will be someone who is really achieving the pleasure of allah and in the same way we have the peak right here we will also reach our own peak inshallah one day by the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that he is pleased with us this is just to take a break this one have hold up with pornography uh, or any illicit uh, acts. Shall they turn a blind eye? Shall they pretend that they have no clue? It's none of my business. Or what shall they do? Bismillah, uh, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jazakallah khairan shaykh salah for inviting me for this. First, I wanted to comment uh, briefly on what uh, Mufti Ismail Min said regarding the uh, your friends break you, make you or break you. Because that goes in line with what the Prophet Muhammad said, Al Marpu ala deen khalili. Uh, a person will be always inclined to follow the religion or the way of life of his friends. So it's very important to stick to good company so that you can be always on the right track, inshallah ta'ala. Now, uh, back to your question, of Salah. If someone discovered that somebody else is hooked on pornography, how to approach him and how to reach him out? Number one, if you reach him to help him out, you would be rewarded. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us a reason to cause a positive change in other people's and, lives and so uh, don't ignore it and, and and don't embarrass the person and don't look down upon him once in your history you were also down there committing sins and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided you so why don't you today become a reason for others to be guided so approach them mildly talk to them and tell them that they need to seek a professional help because pornography addiction is destroying not only the individual it's snatching his iman first and, and, and foremost but it's also destroying relationships i have seen people who wanted to commit suicides i have actually seen people who died as a result of their indulgence in, in porn addiction i have seen people getting divorced because of porn addiction so it's uh, if you're a spouse and you have noticed that your husband is hooked on porn talk to him he's he's not like cheating on you sister he's not betraying you he's addicted means he is actually out of control so you need to approach him mildly and tell him that i know that you've been uh, into this practice and i can help you i can help you but try to not look down upon him inshallah from there you can take him to a professional coach where he can give him the necessary tips to break free from porn inshallah company Allah, the company Allah, amazing from the first day in hong kong has been amazing with all the shayukh alhamdulillah alhamdulillah hope you enjoyed that benefit from it that's like a personal conference a private conference alhamdulillah at the peak that's by the way one of the highest points of hong kong as you saw all of hong kong's palace so it's a blessing Allah Akbar, man the martial artist is ready they call me karate kid or the nasheed kid okay you want to understand that reference anyway let's go cool. anyway fam um yesterday was amazing amazing private talk from Mufti Ismail Mink on one of the highest points of Hong Kong Allahu Akbar private talk from Dr. Muhammad Saleh Allahu Akbar private talk from Ustad Wail Ibrahim 
hope you're enjoying this vlog inshallah because I'm really enjoying filming this stuff alhamdulillah I'm on my way to my first performance at the conference alhamdulillah inshallah we'll get some bits there as well inshallah but fam um, alhamdulillah I just hope you're enjoying this man <laughs> alhamdulillah that's it I'm gonna do a hotel room tour after I come back inshallah okay you're gonna watch this all in together anyway I don't know why I'm telling you like it's like I'm telling you it's live Allah you my own, you my love. Words can describe my love for you, Allah. You my love, all praises due to your beauty and compassion. I think you deserve a hotel room too. I think you do. Smile. You might ask why. Because I want you to run no, no. Anyway, so let's start with the bit. Messi, allow me. TV. I watch TV my another. I'm acting pious. Listen here, yeah, let me say something about this yeah, quickly. Yeah. If I show that that's a salam, I'm not acting pious, it's a fund. Everyone's got to do it. So if I pray salam, I'm nobody special. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got to pray. That's a pillar, a fundamental of this religion, subhanAllah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not acting biased. Everybody should do it, alhamdulillah. So it's like, you know, it should be normal, alhamdulillah. That is a desk. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Iron board, using it, alhamdulillah. Okay, random. Okay, a coffee machine. Don't drink coffee. But, sink outside the bathroom. That is what I'm talking about. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. But now, the moment has come for the most important part of every hotel room, of every house. The bathroom. Pod toilet, bruv. Little mini pod, bruv. Look at that. It's a cute little toilet. Allow me. I'm going to show you the best ever shower. No one can show me better. Nobody. You can try to. You're not going to be able to. Hong Kong has got it on lock. You ready? I call it. I call it the Robocop shower. Some of you just seen that. Six ports there as well. Standard. Pow. Up there too. Do you really see what this does? One, two, three, four, five, six. You just stand there, you just stand there, lay down. Because it's amazing, and I need one for home. I need one for home. I want to make the half for a shower like this. And I can't make this dark because I'm, I can't, I wasn't in the toilet. I wasn't in the toilet, by the way, when I said Alhamdulillah. I was outside, okay, you know, see? See the line, the divide, the divide, the divide. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this off anyway. May Allah SWT forgive me for wasting lots of water there. May Allah SWT forgive me. I mean, it's the best shower. Allow me. <laughs> I'm just pressing. That's a wicked shower, there, there. Come on, don't lie. If you agree, that's the best shower you ever seen. Leave it in the comments, inshallah. Um, alhamdulillah. Oh, of course. I forgot the complimentary couch. You know. But the room, alhamdulillah, is a blessing, man. Hong Kong's call. The conference today was amazing, alhamdulillah. Pat, man, it's been a rush this morning, though. I had to get ready short notice. Not really sure, no, it's my fault, I can't sleep. My jet lag is crazy, but inshallah, the last day of the performance, see how it goes, inshallah, the Lord willing, it will go great. May Allah subhanahu wa accept it. I mean, um, backstage, the life of an street artist. <laughs> I'm just joking, this backstage is for the shayukh, alhamdulillah. It feels like a boardroom, I feel like I am mm, the boss of the boardroom, so. So, you know what mate, yeah? You, yeah? You, yeah? You get the, the stuff sorted. 
you, 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 you get the stuff sorted, I'm, I'm going mad. Do you know what the beautiful thing is that every time I go to a country and uh, I see the Ummah, Alhamdulillah, it's beautiful, man. There's a unity there, Allahu Akbar, a unity. That's important, man. And I always emphasize, always emphasize, be proud of your religion, man. I can't emphasize it anymore. Whoever you are, lawyer, solicitor, uh, sports person, a teacher, uh, you know, you, you're a mother at home who takes care of the children, father at home who takes care of the children, factory worker, bus driver, whatever you are, be proud of your deen, be proud of Islam. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. It's the only thing we got, people, man. And my non Muslim fam who are watching, and if you are watching, um, if you want to know about the deen, man, just, just ask. Just ask, and we'll try to help, inshallah. Lord willing. Fam, I am at the Dawa store. Which area is this, brother? Chim Sa Chui. Chim Sa Chui. Chim Sa Chui. It sounds like a food, yeah. but it's a place. And near the Golden Mosque. Oh, it's near the. This is. I'll show you the masjid. There's the masjid right the there. The biggest mosque. It's the biggest masjid in Hong Kong. So I'm going to introduce you to some special, <laughs> special friends. Okay. So I'm going to go from elders to youngest. So introduce yourself, my friend. What's your name? Always. And what's your name, my little boy? My name is Haim, and I am. MashaAllah Tabarakallah And what's your name little one? 14 You're 14? No, he's, he's 4 He's 4 Okay, your name is Muhammad Anas, right? Yeah Alhamdulillah These guys are doing da'wah And they're so young, look at these guys Look at them They're giving da'wah They're handing out leaflets And Alhamdulillah Showing the people of Hong Kong about Islam so This is a uh, it's an experience, man. I'm going to introduce you to the elder brother now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi So, brother Adil is actually, you were born here. I was born in Hong Kong. Can you recognize, speak a little bit more, bro. Let them recognize you. <laughs> Obviously, you got no clue what I said there, did you? <laughs> but you've also got that Scottish tang there, bro. Yeah, I'm from Glasgow as well, mate. Alhamdulillah. I've lived there for 10 years. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> so, brother Adil is doing an amazing job, Alhamdulillah. Giving out a labor rights uh, in Islam flyer is in English and in Chinese. Um, and we've just basically got the two hadith from Rasulullah where he says, you Alhamdulillah. know, pay the worker his wages before his sweat has dried. You know, and the other one where he says, Rasulullah <laughs> said that clothe your workers the, in the clothes that you are clothed oh, and give them the food that you feed yourself with Allah you know so these are the hadith that we give up and you know we said this is Islam you know this is Islam so may Allah reward you bro I mean I love Jesus you love Jesus yeah you love Jesus but I love Allah more than Jesus of course I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anybody alhamdulillah also me yeah alhamdulillah I love Allah in, in the whole universe oh, mashallah isn't he adorable mashallah tabarakallah say mashallah tabarakallah hey, what's that what's that there doink i'm just joking please introduce yourself my dear brother assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is sufan wahid living in hong kong and teacher in islamic classroom to memory college where we had a program at the peak so very happy to see this brother with us Alhamdulillah, may Allah give you a very nice and very lovely life with your lovely family and we love you because of the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brother, wherever you are, please do for us. We are here to give dawah to non-Muslims. This is our job. Alhamdulillah. Brother Sultan works at the only Islamic college in Hong Kong. Alhamdulillah, he's doing a great job. The At The Peak conference was actually at the, at the college, Islamic college. I heard that that school a few years ago wasn't going through a good state, but Alhamdulillah, Brother Sultan, the head teacher came in. Uh, what's the sister's name? Sister Zarina Ho. Sister Zarina Ho. Got, she's the principal, and they changed it completely, Alhamdulillah. And I met some of the students. They were amazing, Alhamdulillah. They were very kind, polite, generous. Allahu Akbar. And in the morning, we start every day with the recitation of Quran. Allahu Akbar. Our day started. And Allah then, inshallah, after lunch, we have 15 minutes for Duhar prayer. This is compulsory. Alhamdulillah. Each and every student, they come. Alhamdulillah. Pray, Alhamdulillah. And then we have Islam lesson, we have Quran lesson. Listen. Alhamdulillah, and this is only in our college. Alhamdulillah, this is the blessing of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and love, my family, whoever you are, wherever you are. You are my family. Smile. You might ask why? Because it will make you feel better. You're supposed to say why. Oh. <laughs> they want to know about Islam. We give them dawah. They want to know what a Muslim does. We give them dawah. When they want to hate on our deen. We give them dawah. Who's the one and only? Nobody but Allah. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. The guy's better than me.
everything I have, everything I own, everything I need is thanks to you. Every breath I take, every word I hear, every smile I see, it's thanks to you. Alhamdulillah, 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 how fast is you are. This is the biggest masjid in uh, Hong Kong, Subhanallah. Yeah? It's in the Kowloon area and it's called Kowloon Mosque, Alhamdulillah. And uh, just reciting the sheet there, Alhamdulillah. Beautiful experience to praise Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. What an experience, man. I recited Nasheed in the biggest masjid in Hong Kong. Allahu Akbar. Say Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. Oh, fam, I want to introduce you to someone really special, Alhamdulillah. It's Ustad Adris Subhanallah from South Africa. Ustad, please introduce yourself more, man. What, you know, what do you do? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Idris Kamisa from the beautiful country, South Africa, Durban. I call myself a consultant in education and human development. I focus on social issues in the community. I'm involved in radio programs. I travel throughout the world, hopefully trying to inspire people, give them meaning in their life, giving them hope. Because as Muslims, you need to be eternal optimists. Allah will test you because He loves you. He cares for you. He just requires a smile. It's a sadaqah. Hug your wife, hug your children, work together, you become part of the cohesive home, inshallah. Fam, we're in a shop called Jordana, and Brother Sultan wants to get us a gift. So nice. In Islam, if somebody offers a gift, you have to take it. You have to take it. It's Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Giving gifts increases love between one another. The Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, give each other gifts and gifts increases the love. You know what I'm saying? It's busy, bro. Check this out, bro. Look. Madness all over, bro. Madness, man. Madness. It's too busy, man. So we're in Chungking Mansion. It's basically known as Little Pakistan in Hong Kong, alhamdulillah. So we're going to explore Chongqing Mansion. Uncle Sensor. It's mad busy here. Too busy. Man, I don't know what it is. It's like Chinatown, bro. But it's not a Pakistani town in Hong Kong. Brother Adil, are we like in the heart of Hong Kong now? Yes, we are, bro. Yes, we are. This okay. is Kim Cha Choi. This is where it all happened. There's, there's two hearts of Hong Kong. Yeah. This is one of the heart. There's another one in central. Okay. Which is basically mostly commercial. Okay. So here is residential, but it's, it's, it's hectic. Kowloon yeah. was the original Hong Kong. Oh, okay. In Hong Kong, there's three parts. Okay. Kowloon. Yep. New territories. Yes. And the Hong Kong Island. Okay. Okay. Cool. So Kowloon was the main. Okay. And then it extended. Okay. To new territories. That's why this is always the busiest. Okay. The oldest part. Okay. You get a lot of heritage sites okay. here as well. So basically, Hong Kong is like a, a part of China, isn't it? Basically. Yes. Yes. It is part of China. That's why. I mean, obviously, it was part of the UK as a colony. Yep. yep. Um, for 100 years. Okay. And it was returned back to China. Yeah. In 1997. Okay. And uh, since then, it's been called. Some people still call it as a country, some people call it as a city. Okay. You okay. know, because they say it's back to China now. Check that skyline out. Check that out. Wow. They get on the ferry, man. One of the oldest transport in Hong Kong. Wow. The ferry, which is not stopped for a long, bro. long time ago. Bro, may Allah bless you, man, for I mean, touring I mean, us. I mean, I mean, I mean. Ustad, how kind are they, Hamdulillah? They are oh. so kind, I can't believe it. I'm getting nervous when they visit me in South Africa. <laughs> when they are able to reciprocate, man. Yeah. But I'm going to go back and they need to give me time. I'm going to hold where, my where skills. Am I, where am I going to take I'm going to take it to Wembley Stadium or something? Yeah, if you do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you do that. <laughs> Uh, oh, we're getting the ferry now, fam. So it's the the oldest transport. It's the oldest transport yes. you know, in Hong Kong. Yeah. And we're gonna go across <laughs> there. You see that? It's madness. You know, wallahi, yeah. This uh, reminds me of the this reminds me of the story of Yunus alayhi salam. Please go to the Quran and read the story about Yunus alayhi salam. This is a Hong Kong cab. Yep. And we're getting out of it now. Yes. That door just opened automatically, by the way. <laughs> Random. So yeah, it's a Hong Kong cab right there. You know, we're living it. We're living the life. Hong Kong cab right there. Thank you, Hong Kong cab. And now we have the MTR. Oh, now we're going to go on a train. Yeah. So let's do this. Hong Kong MTR is like okay. only one of the few MT, I mean, train stations which are profitable. 
Oh, okay, okay. Like many like train stations or train systems are actually making losses, right? Oh, okay, okay. But this it, is profiting. It, 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 it's it's making huge profit. Wow. Time. Okay, let's go. Okay. But the reason for that is because they make like buildings. Oh. So you'll find like building MTR at the bottom, see. and they're building at the top, which is giving see, up for see, rents. See. That's the octopus. Oh, it's the octopus, yeah? yeah. So it's like the oyster system. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I call it the octopus. They call it the octopus because the That's eight cool. thing, you know, like That's cool. basically you can use like in different even shops, we can use it. Why is it with them using these words from the sea, bruv? No octopus, idea. Well, oyster. They love seafood, innit? Yeah, but England, innit? Oyster. Oyster, I know. That's true. Ah, Disneyland, yeah? You got a Disneyland Yeah, they were saying well. about it, yeah. This one. So, fam, you see that, eh? Prince Edward, man's are not the royal family, are not leaving anybody alone. <laughs> the royal family, leaving the emperor, <laughs> yeah, not it? leaving anybody alone. <laughs> So there. <laughs> so yeah, man. So this is a packed train, obviously, yes. as you can tell. Yes, you can tell. Yes, yes, yes. It's mad busy. Welcome to like Central London vibe. But what is the line called? MTR. 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 Busy, man. Is that one of those movies? There's only one railway system in Hong Kong. Oh, okay, okay. This okay. is it. MTR. It's got, it's got the monopoly, basically. And that air that's coming is that the AC or is that just the air? It's the AC, bro. AC. So you've got AC here, man. In London, we, we in summer, it, it, it ain't a good look. Very good. It ain't a good look. It's mad busy, huh? Eh? Really busy. And, and, and just to say, this is nothing. If you come on a weekday, yeah, around seven o'clock, yeah, I'll be standing right next to you. <laughs> what do you do with the women then, bro? It's fitna, huh? It's fit. Fitna Central train. It's fitna. Now. You know, you stand like this and you try your best and. And obviously you can see Mate, the train Mail them make it easy ah, Mail them make it easy ah, for the ah, brothers ah, eh? Chim Cha Choi That's it Chim Cha Choi That's it Yeah yeah Chim Cha I got it yeah Chim Cha Choi Chim Cha Choi That's it Chim Cha Choi Yeah Chim Cha <laughs> See you later train That's it Alhamdulillah You just need to be, you know, learn the Pajwita That's it <laughs> <laughs> The Pajwita the Chim Cha Choi <laughs> Oh yeah, you got the I gates in front of the, the door, fam. Yeah. That is because there's a lot of suicides that happen. Oh, so the gates are there. To, okay, because oh yeah. wow. Or oh, some of these push on those people off. Why? There's been stories like that. Allah, 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 Allah. Subhanallah, man. Wow. Whew, fam, we are on the minibus, yeah. Minibus. We are on the minibus here. Yeah. We're taking you all over, fam. We are taking you all over Hong Kong. I am doing all this traveling. You know, I drive in my car. I don't travel like public transport. Fam knows, fam knows yes, I'm always in the yes. car, man. Alhamdulillah, experience it, man. So this is the bus. Is it, what, is it, is it like different though? Mini bus, bus, what is it? Yeah, because it's not big bus on it. Oh, okay, okay. This bus basically goes inside those little roads. Oh, see, see, see. the big see, buses see. can't go inside. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? So, like I said, that's the reason why Hong Kong is known for its public transport. Okay, okay. Because you can go anywhere to anywhere with the public transport. Okay, okay, see. No matter how far you are, no matter how in you are, yeah. you know, can get to one place or another. It doesn't okay. have to be a taxi. Wow. It can be a public transport. Wow. Okay. So minibuses again are one of the oldest transports of Hong Kong again. Oh, again, yeah. yeah. So minibus, one yeah. of the oldest transports. Yeah. The other buses are standard, like you know, double-decker buses in London, yeah. the red ones. But this, this is this kind of bus takes you through the little roads that the buses can't go through. Yeah. So this is it, man. So I'm going to brother Adil's house. Alhamdulillah, he's kindly invited me, okay. and inshallah we're gonna have a good conversation and yeah, inshallah. let's see inshallah. inshallah. So, Hong Kong trip comes to an end. Subhanallah. Fam, I hope you enjoyed the vlog, inshallah ta'ala, Lord willing. The trip in Hong Kong was amazing. Everybody was so amazing. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. All the shayukh, everybody, the organizers, brother Javed, brother Adil, brother Sultan, you know, Alhamdulillah, they were so kind. You know, there were some beautiful brothers from the Philippines here, SubhanAllah. They were very kind, generous people. It was amazing, man. And I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I did for you guys. To be very honest with you, vlogging, I like it, but it's very time consuming. Sometimes you just want to be out there and not document things sometimes, actually. Just take it in. You know, just take it in. But I do this. For you guys, obviously, I do it first for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because inshallah, Lord willing, you guys can benefit from it. But then I do it for you guys. So you guys enjoy it and you know, you share the love and you know, you benefit from it. That's really the ultimate goal of the vlog, you know. Um, 
I'm not a vlogger, I'm an Ashid artist, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying to give you guys an alternative to music with my voice only, Ashid, as I say. But in the meantime, <laughs> don't forget to say subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, assalamu alaikum, peace and love, my brothers and sisters, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family, smile. you might ask why, because it will make you feel better, and you know it does. Try it. Stretch that side out, go on this way. Mm. Other side, other side. Mm. Mm. Makes you feel better, doesn't it?